G'day, Shy here once again with four wheels on the road helping you get the most out of your time away. This week once again we're asking the question go or no go. We're here at the Great Walks up at Lake Baroon. We're going to take a bit of a look around the area here and see what it's got on offer for you. Let's go check it out. You go no go for now. The drive up here is really fantastic and there's plenty to check out along the way. You can stop in and see Mount Tibragargan and also all of the other mountains in the Glasshouse Mountains range as well. There's also another couple of little great places to visit within the area here. There's a place called Gardner's Falls which is just at Mullaney and around about 15 minutes down the road and you actually pass through the area on your way up to the entrance here at Lake Baroon. As you'll see from the signage here, there's also plenty of other things you can do in the surrounding areas near Lake Baroon. And the area that we're headed today to is the beginning of the Great Walks. Now, this actually starts right near Lake Baroon, which we've taken a look at very recently. If you wanted to take a look at that video, I'll put a link for you on the top right-hand side of your screen. The entry itself is only around about 200 metres away from Lake Baroon, which is a great little place to visit by itself as well. So you can choose to visit one of both places while you're down here. Now in terms of the great walks themselves, there are a great many different walks that you can actually take. And the great thing about the great walk system is that you can choose to start or end any of these walks from any different parts within the national park system here. The entry where we are starting here is at the beginning of the Great Walk system and there is another entry at Condalula Falls which we've taken a look at previously as well. If you wanted to take a look at that video I'll put a link for you on the top right hand side of your screen. It's a great little place to visit as well and the falls there are just fantastic. So as you would have seen from the signage that I've put on screen for you and uh, also here at the site itself, there's a ton of walks that you can actually take from here and they're not called the Great Walks for nothing, I can tell you. There's a few really long walks from here, but it's a beautiful place to uh, come and check out and even if you just wanted to come and just take a really quick walk here, you can walk down to Obi Obi Creek, which is only a few hundred metres away, which is what we're gonna go and do now. Let's go take a look at it. Great little start to the walk here actually, as soon as you get out of your car basically you can hear the sound of Obi Obi Creek which is around about 10 metres that way and uh, it's a sign of things to come, you can hear the creek already.
fantastic boardwalk and a couple of bridges here that uh, go over the top of the creek, which really gives you a great bird's eye view of what the creek looks like. It's fantastic. Well, that's going to wrap things up for us here at the Great Walks. Let me know what you think of the place in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and most importantly, share the channel. I really do appreciate that. And we'll see you next time we get four wheels on the road.